welcome back to the craft room. I am so glad that you could join me. Today, I am going to tell you all about what I did during the weekend. Not a whole lot. I got some cross stitch patterns printed off. And that's about it. I did a, like maybe 12 stitches on my knit hat, but it's going to sit right here for a while because I don't want to do that right now. I'm like interested in doing the cross stitch stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. So if you remember from what? Yesterday's video? No. Two days ago's video? I don't remember. It's been a long weekend, but I always say that. But it's true. But anyway, I made these two panels using some, I love this cotton. This is in the colorway two pink. That's what it looks like. I've got, stop it, stay there. I've got two panels here. And this would be easily done, or easy done, with just a regular crochet hook. You'd have to be careful that you didn't lose your stitches off the end. But yes, it could be done with a a standard crochet uh, standard crochet hook that doesn't have the extra handle on it. You don't need a fancy long Tunisian hook like something like this. Big difference. This is about half the size here. You can do what I'm doing with just a regular size crochet hook. And I believe in my original video I put the number of uh, stitches across, but I will tell you again. Like I said, here's my two panels. And this will be a coaster. Like I said, I printed my pattern off this weekend. Because we have a printer at work. But this is the pattern that I'm using. It is one that I found on Pinterest. And I am doing, I'm going to just tell you loops. So, you know, you got to chain 19. There's 19 loops across on your hook at all times, just simple Tunisian. And then there's going to be a total of 18 rows tall. So that'll give you, it shows you here on the pattern, you've got that extra row. Your next row for this one anyway will be your beginning loop. And on the other end, it'll be your end loop. So I put a link to this pattern in a previous video. Um... I'm not going to put it in this one, so you can check back with that one. And when I get this all done, I will definitely uh, show you guys, you know, put the links for everything. But that's what it is. It's one that I found on Pinterest. And I always write on my projects here how many loops across and up that I am using so that I have that for future reference so I don't have to figure out it again. I like to put at least one extra or two extra from the edge of the project, excluding uh, the edge or the edge of my project. Does that make sense? Anyway, I'm going to get started on this tonight for my butterfly because I want to get it done. Because I have another project that I want to do. My sister came to see me today, as she does every Sunday. This is Sunday, May 1st, by the way. May Day. Do you guys have any May Day recollections? I've only been to one Maypole dance in my entire life. It was rather interesting. But what we used to do most often as a kid is we would make little, kind of like cornucopia, is that how you say it? Little cone-shaped baskets out of construction paper. And we would go out in the woods, normally out in the woods, and we would pick wildflowers. And my mom would wrap them in a damp paper towel and then put them in, like in some plastic wrap and we would stick those little baskets or stick the flowers down in those little baskets and then we would take them to some elderly friends of ours, hang them on their doorknob, knock on their door and then run and hide and watch them come out and find the flowers. That was always a lot of fun. I wouldn't recommend doing it now, but when I was younger, it was much safer to do. But anyway, my sister came as she does every Sunday and she brought me some yarn some cotton yarn and I have taped this up because it was like super floppy on the skein and it just drove me bonkers but this is some just cotton that she picked up at the Dollar Tree it is the color turquoise marl and as you can see it's not really a turquoise I'd call it like a I don't know robin egg blue to me it doesn't look turquoisey looks like a light blue sky blue but it is the blue and white twist and it is 85% cotton, 15% polyester. When I seen this, I was like, I have to make me another coaster. You know what this would look awesome with? 
well, here, I'll show you what I, I had to get started on it because I had the hook. And this is another one that you could do with just a regular hook, but I didn't have this one. It was up here in my craft room. So I just used the big one that I had that I didn't get to use this weekend. But I have my canvas started. How cool is that? Uh-huh. What does that look like? Water? It does. I said I know the perfect cross stitch pattern for that. So fishy! So yeah. I'm going to be finishing my butterfly so that I can get to work on my fishy. And I will update you with that in a future video when I get there. This is on the back burner. But for now, I am working on my canvas. I will be doing two panels of this. And if you want to follow along, it is going to be 21 loops across and 19, pardon me, 19 rows tall. And I will put a link to this and the information in that in the next video that I put out that has to do with this particular project with this blue yarn. So anyway, yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait. I promise. I will do the butterfly first. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I've been up to this weekend. That's all that I've gotten accomplished. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for joining me here in the craft room and I will see you right back here in my next video.